expected to try Japan, this has got to be about number one. We are checking out Higashi Osaka. I've never actually been here before. Taylor's here actually. Hey. <laughs> We're staying in this place called Sekai Hotel, but really what it actually is, well, do you guys know the word shotengai in Japanese? It's basically kind of like an arcade mall. You've probably seen them in Osaka, Kyoto, any like real down-to-earth neighborhood in Japan has these shotengai, the hubs where you get all of your daily needs and stuff like that. We're in the middle of it. <laughs> this is a hotel, but it's actually just these little separated lodgings inside of the Shotengai, and they're really well-made, cool, chic designs. It's our pleasure to have you here in our local community. What you experience is not romanticized, it's ordinary. Japan via stays, meals, and interactions. In Japanese, the word they're using is nichijo, the actual everyday day-to-day. -day. So today we're going to run around and try to do as many ordinary things as possible. Let me show you around the room a little bit. We got the beds, gorgeous bathrooms. The steel sink with good water pressure. <laughs> and it even comes with a little pass and a map that when you scan the QR code, it shows you like local bars and local restaurants where you can get a discount or a free drink depending on where you go. A lot of people come to visit the actual rugby stadium and then they leave because there wasn't really a place to stay. But this new place, Sekai Hotel, gives you a chance to stay here, feel the ordinary life, and really get kind of down and dirty with what's going on in the city here. So let's go check it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's go hit the city. Okay, so as you can see, Taylor is holding the camera, helping me out today, because we're gonna do something a little bit wet today. We're getting wet. <laughs> and we're actually here at Ojoin Rokumanji, which is a temple here in the area, and they're being nice enough to let us take on the full, supposedly ordinary, I don't know how ordinary this is, but this is supposed to be like a deep piece of history here. So we're gonna climb up that way, and I'm gonna show you a surprise. Okay, ready for a long walk? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> what do you think? You guys have no idea what's coming next. Let's go. <laughs> okay, guys. We're entering into the jungle. It's pretty cool, but I'm also really sweaty already. It's a good hike. So what I just got to do is called Takikyo in Japanese, and it's actually something that's not all that widespread in Japan, but it's something very specific to this area. When you see scenes like this in the movies, it's this very like crashing waterfall, but this was a very calm, easy, unlike what you see in the movies, this is a very relaxing and very chill experience. So, got a chance to do some good reflection. I made it. Taylor, you wanna go in next? No, I'm okay this time. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I think watching was chilling enough. Ch chilling enough. No, it's a good chill. It's refreshing. I think you'd like it. You know, I'm really glad I don't have to go all the way back to the temple because I'm pretty wet. <laughs> See you guys in a second. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Am I dressed? I think so. <laughs> all right. Let's get this back to the temple, guys, huh? 
all the way back on the trail. Come on. Oh, gosh, I'm not gonna make it alive. I'm such a mean friend. As soon as you slipped, I pulled out the camera and hit record. <laughs> <laughs> but we always get the shot. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta brush my hair. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to the temple, brush my hair, and do something food related. See if we can get some local eats. Ima <laughs> karadi Freshen up. Freshen up. That's the word. It wasn't nearly as bad as I expected. That was actually really nice and actually let me borrow a blow dryer. And <laughs> Taylor. We're gonna look for some wagashi. Actually, you can maybe see in the background, but there is the rugby stadium that originally was built in 1929 that this area is famous for. But we heard that there are some wagashi that are kind of like commemorative rugby shapes. There it is. Can you see the shape, rugby shape? <laughs> Alright, so there it is guys, the famous rugby hana manju, it's hana manju, yeah. hana rag manju, alright. Mm. Is it really green inside? Yeah, it's green inside. Yeah. I think it tastes like zunda, like sweet edamame. Lightly sweet and like chewy, it has a really good texture. Yeah, so if you come here to the rugby stadium, don't miss hana rag manju. Mm -hmm. Even the trees are like rugby. Rugby tastic. That's great. Oh my gosh. Rugby World Cup. So, just kind of enjoying the Nichijo, the everyday, ordinary life of the area. If you come to the rugby stadium, then you can see basically like these fields where kids are practicing all day, running along the track. Does that feel familiar to you, Taylor? Feels like high school all over again. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know, I think that's some of my favorite parts of like being in Japan is just seeing like normal kids doing normal stuff. It's the same, right? Yeah, and then you realize it's pretty much all the same, just in a different language. Like, what am I gonna put in my bento today? <laughs> we all talk about the same stuff. <laughs> Small world, eh? There's a lot of dogs. And a, yeah, a lot, a lot of, dogs. of dogs. A beagle and, what was the other one? Lassie. Lassie, yeah, and a collie. <laughs> I was like, these dogs are so cute. We'll have to bring our dogs here. Okay. Come see rugby, take them for a long walk. Just let them loose. Yeah. Alcohol. で、小豆。はい。はい。指で。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
We decided to come to a local spot, Yoshihiro, which is a teppanyaki spot. Okonomiyaki. Yeah. Vegan friendly okonomiyaki. Yeah, they'll make it special. Yeah. She knew what vegan was. Yeah, she knew what vegan means and I appreciate that. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna get some good eats yeah. and check out the local night scene in East Osaka. We get free drinks. Oh yeah, and we get a free we get one free drink. Yeah, with our card. Alright, let's get some grub. Let's do it. Ta -da! Morning guys, got a pretty good night's sleep despite the street noise. <laughs> Hear that? <laughs> Hear the actual city come alive in the morning. You can see the people looking at your cool hotel. And yeah, and the food, the food was pretty good last night. That was a really good spot. Um, there's actually a cafe at the front desk of the hotel. It's in a different building around the corner. In about two or three months or so, the Rugby World Cup is going to be full on and places are going to be booked up and you're going to want a cool, cheap place to stay. And this is it, honestly. Brand new and not a lot of people know about it. You've got the cafe, you've got the bar, you've got the cool lodgings and the cool city all around to check out. We're going to go get some coffee, we're going to get caffeinated, get on the road, and we're going to leave this place so you guys can come check in next. You ready for some coffee, Taylor? I was born to drink coffee. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> 